Using Google Docs in the Classroom. This tutorial will show you how to use Google Docs as well as give you ideas for using Google Docs in the Classroom. To begin, log in to your Google Drive account. After you have logged in, you will see all of the files that you have stored in your drive. To create a new document, click on New and then click on Google Docs. This will open a blank Google Doc in a new tab. You can use this document just like you would any other word processor to write a paper, lesson plan, or take notes. First, rename your document by clicking on Untitled Document. Enter in a name for this document and click OK. What makes Google Docs unique is that you can share this document with others in order to work collaboratively on the same document at the same time. To do this, click on Share. Now you can enter email addresses for all of the people you want to be able to access this document. Once you have done this, click Done to share this document. Now everyone you have shared this document with will be able to contribute content. You can also use Google Docs to communicate with others. The first way to do this is through the Comments feature. This allows you to write comments about a particular section of the document without changing the document's content. To do this, highlight a word or phrase, click Comments, and then click Comment. Now you can write a note, suggestion, or other message in the comment box. When you are finished, click Comment. You can also use the Suggesting feature to comment on a document. To do this, click on the Mode button, then click Suggesting. Now when you write in the document, it will show up as a suggestion without changing the original content. You can also chat with people over this shared document. This is particularly useful if everyone wants to work on the same document at once because it allows you to talk in real time about additions or changes you want to make or ask each other questions. To chat with everyone who is currently viewing the document, click on the speech bubble icon. This will open up a chat box where you can write messages to the other people working on the document. Another useful feature available in Google Docs is that you can see the revision history of any document you are working on. To do this, click on File and then choose See Revision History from the drop-down menu. This allows you to see all of the changes that have been made to a document, and these changes are color-coded depending on who made the revision. Just click on the different revisions to see who made the changes to the document. Once you have mastered the basics, you can begin to utilize Google Docs and Google Drive in the teaching profession. In Google Docs, you can create collaborative lesson plans with other teachers or share meeting notes. In Google Drive, you could create a lesson repository to share with your colleagues. Google Docs can also be used in the classroom in order to encourage collaborative learning and improve the writing process. It can also enhance efficiency and student engagement. Teachers can give immediate feedback on student work through comments or suggestions, as well as see the revision history of an assignment. Students will be able to work collaboratively from any location on projects and papers. They can also do digital peer reviews of each other's work through the commenting function in Google Docs. And students could even use them to keep reading response journals or lab notebooks. This tutorial has demonstrated the basics of using Google Docs and given you ideas for how you can use Google Docs in the classroom. For more information, ask a Merit Librarian at askmerit at education.wisc.edu.